guys and YouTube gals, it's me, Magnum, over at Guns and Cars, with two Z's if you please. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about holsters. One of the first things that a new concealed carry license or permit holder has to consider after they decide which firearm they're going to buy is what kind of holster they're going to use. So I wanted to do a uh, just a brief video showing you a few options. Now these are all uh, these are four holsters that I have acquired over the the years. Uh, all four the Walter PPK, which is my favorite concealed carry weapon, always has been. So these all apply to this weapon. So first of all, this is a Phobos paddle holster. It has uh, great retention. It's, it's not going anywhere. Uh, that's a real positive for it. It fits outside the waistband, which is sometimes more comfortable than inside the waistband. Uh, the only downside is that the, the retention, while it's a good, good factor, good aspect, it's also kind of a a uh, downside aspect because it's so hard to remove. So maybe I just haven't used it enough to get it loosened up, but anyway, that's that's one option you have is a paddle holster for outside the waistband. A second option is this holster is made by a company called Ace Case. Uh, I picked up a couple of these a while back. It's a soft suede material. It's uh, made in uh, the USA, in St. Clair, Missouri. It has a, a soft lining, so it's not going to mar the finish on your gun. The great aspect, uh, the positive aspect of this, is that it's so soft that when you put this on, uh, you pretty much forget that you're even wearing it. Very comfortable and it rides, uh, the gun rides very low in the holster. The clip is very high which doesn't make it top heavy at all. Excellent option. The, if there was a downside to it, it would be that reholstering is a little bit difficult because it has a, a soft mouth on the top. So uh, and you might consider that a, 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 a non-event actually because reholstering is not uh, that big a deal. It's not something that you typically do under stress. So this is a good option. Another upside of this is that you can get them for two for 20 bucks. They're like $10 a piece. So that's another possibility if you're looking for something for inside the waistband. Hey guys, I'm inserting this after the fact here. I realized as I was editing the video that I left out a very important aspect and kind of uh, didn't include everything about the Ace Case holster. This is the one with the suede, very soft, uh, concealable. One thing I forgot to mention is that it is tuckable. Once you, you hook this clip on your belt, then your shirt goes down in here so the only thing visible is this right here it looks like a you know pocket knife case or cell phone case or whatever so this is a tuckable holster and for 10 bucks you know and something that's very comfortable rides very low for deep concealment it doesn't get much better than that <laughs> This little holster is made by a company called Tagua. I think they're made in Argentina. Uh, excellent quality. The retention is very good on this holster. I mean, you put the, the gun in there and it, it is going to stay. It's not going to fall out, but it is fairly easy to remove it. It has a, a formed mouth on it, so reholstering is not an issue. The only downside on this holster, if there was one, is that the clip is relatively low compared to the 
center of gravity here so this would be a little top heavy um, that's the that's the reason I don't use this holster that often is because it is somewhat top heavy uh, as an appendix carry it might be a better option expense wise it's not that not that expensive I think it was about 25 bucks or so the company the customer service on this company is great I had an issue with one I bought and uh, they sent me a brand new one said here use this instead uh, so another great option for inside the waistband this is probably my favorite this is a Bianchi model 100 the uh, the thing I like about this is obviously the quality is good and it has this uh, shield that sticks up on the top when you put the gun in uh, it keeps it away from your skin so that's a great option uh, these do have a tendency to not fit as tightly as some others but uh, I, I use this every day in fact I have another one that I'm wearing right now the PPK is not in it because I'm using it for the demo but uh, this is this is my standby my everyday uh, that I've used the majority of the time so and these these run around I think 25 bucks or so great customer service at Bianchi also and you can get this for just about any handgun that you want to carry so that's the uh, that's the explanation and uh, show for today please leave a comment I'll be happy to answer it uh, if I know the answer and until I speak with you again and even after that you stay safe